Knives are cool. And axes too. Hello everybody, Robert Breaker here today and I'm gonna do a little video here about a knife. So I come to church and there's some people in church that know I have a knife channel and they like that I like swords and knives and axes. And a young man said he picked this up at a garage sale, I believe, and he wanted me to have it. I said, wow, check it out. It's like a little knife. I, the old days, the, the knights would have a big sword and they'd have a small sword like this. And if they dropped their big sword, they'd pull this out. So it's kind of like a dagger, but it's long enough to be kind of a mini sword. So check this thing out, come in and zoom in on it. I don't know where it came from, but it's like brand spanking new. And it looks like a reproduction or maybe something that you would buy at some sort of a, um, I don't know, some sort of a tourist shop. It has here what they call the Star of David, which is supposed to be Jewish. Now, if you know your Bible, that's really the Star of Remfam. So you kind of have to be careful about that. But here, right here on the front, that looks like the Ark of the Covenant with the two angels on both sides. And then on the other side, we have the Jewish, um, what do you call that? Uh, candlestick. And then here, what looks like some sort of Babylonian thing. And then down here, we have kind of looks like Babylonian or something. There's a crown. So I don't know anything about this. It has no marks on it or anything. But one thing I do know, it is not sharp at all. There is no sharp on this blade. It has a point and that's it. But it is cool. So starting this knife channel has been exciting to me because people will give me things. And wow, I've got this knife now. So it's kind of a long, Israeli style? I don't know. We know that Israel um, in the Bible was in captivity to Babylon for 70 years. So in captivity to Babylon for 70 years. But um, this is really cool. It looks brand spanking new. Never been used. Got some leather sheath here. You can see the leather. How it was uh, put together here. This leather and everything. But what an exciting thing. When you come to church and somebody just gives you something. How cool. And um, I don't know. I just I think it's neat. Do you know what this is? Do you know where it came from? My thought is probably someone went to Israel and um, maybe they bought this in a gift shop or something. That's the only thing that I could figure out. And it represents Israel perhaps because it's got a little bit of a Babylonian theme to it. And you know, Israel was, was uh, captivity in Babylon. But wow, that is just a nice gift to come to church and somebody give you something. So you know I have to do it. So we're going to drop it. People go, don't do it. Don't drop it in the dirt. Oh, come on cool huh check it out zoom in on that so it doesn't have any sharp blade at all it's just a point but maybe I'll sharpen it I don't know my thought is it's probably not the um, strongest steel it does bend a little but it is really cool so thank you you know who you are that gave this to me and I appreciate you and boy another one to add to to the repertoire of different things that we did videos on so awesome and now it's time to go home so see you next time knives are cool and jewish mini swords too knives are cool and axes too Bullseye.